Coming up to 20 minutes after 12 on Maritime Noon. For international students, graduation day sets off a ticking time bomb to find a job. But as of yesterday, some of the tension is lifting. The federal government announced sweeping changes that should make it easier for students from overseas to work and stay in the country. For the first time, graduating students can apply for work permits with no restrictions on employment or a job offer. The new rules also mean students can remain in Canada for up to three years after graduation. Sean Correa is originally from India. He just finished his last exam for his Master's of Business Administration at Dalhousie University in Halifax. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Costas. First of all, of all the possible universities in the world, what brought you to Dalhousie in Nova Scotia? Well, I grew up in Dubai in the Middle East, and after high school I knew I wanted to come out west to study. And all of the Canadian universities had held a seminar at some hotels over there in Dubai. And Dalhousie was one of them. I applied and got in and came right away. Now, what about the adjustment to the experience of being an international student? Well, I had a really smooth adjustment. Um, I was, over the course of my undergraduate degree, I, I did my undergraduate degree at Dalhousie as well. Um, I lived in the Dalhousie residences, and it was a really smooth transition because... Um, Living in such a multicultural environment, I got exposed to a lot of people from all over the place, including from Canada. So it helped me adjust to Canadian life really, really well. Okay, so you're in residence. Yes, what sir. about when you went into your graduate years? Uh, that's when I moved off campus, just because I wanted to experience something different. Um, again, it was a really nice experience. Now, what about uh, the difficulties? I mean, what's uh, aside from from the, the cultural adjustments, right. what about some of the other things associated with being an international student? In terms of my student experiences, I've never had any issues. But uh, since I just graduated, I've been applying for jobs over the past year or so. And I found that in terms of searching for employment, you do come across a few brick walls. Like, um, uh, I'm looking to work in Toronto. And most of the companies I apply to over there do have these online application processes, and you always have questions about, um, they, they always word it differently, but essentially they ask you, um, do you require a work permit to work in Canada? Are you an international student? Something along those lines. Yes. And generally, you do, they do uh, not exactly frown upon that, but you do become a, sec- a second rate applicant after that because why hire someone uh, like i've actually spoken to employers who have said that they do want to hire a student who would grow with the company and under the old postgraduate work permit if you were to work in toronto you'd only have one year so essentially you'd be working there for a year and after that you'd have to leave so the company also suffers because then they have to hire someone else train them all over again so that was one problem i had in terms of actually applying for jobs i always had that holding me back that i was an international student even though I do have the work experience, I do have the international experience, I do have a good degree from Dalhousie University. There was just that factor always holding me back. So will those changes announced yesterday ameliorate that situation? Oh, uh, it would would, would make a huge difference just because, um, for one thing, uh, I I no longer have to feel the pressure to always look for a job that's directly in my field, even though in business it's pretty broad. Uh, In terms of students who come from programs such as, say, music or theater, for them, coming out of a degree from a university, it's really hard to find a job in their field right away. And under the old postgraduate work permit, they would have, uh, have to actually find a job in that field. Under these new changes, they can find a job in any field that pretty much opens up, uh, the world for them, really. Uh, in my case, obviously, being business, I have a pretty broad scope. But, Again, like in my case, I've always found that under those old conditions, I was severely restricted just because under the application, I'd be mentioning that I'm an international student and that would hold me back because I'd only get the year. Now, having three years, that definitely puts me in a greater light for these employers because they can see that, okay, this guy is going to be with us for a long time. He can grow with the organization. And one would assume that within that period of time, I would get my permanent residency since I've already applied for it and I could stay with the company for a longer period of time. So I look good to them now. Now, Up until yesterday, you would have had until when to get a job offer or else? I would have had up till August the the 9th, around the 8th or 9th, because you have 90 days after Senate meets, which would have been around May 13th. So 90 days counting from that date, I would have until August 9th to find a job. 
now under these new changes, um, I have until August 9th to apply for the postgraduate work permit. But because one of the conditions is that you don't actually have to have a job offer in hand. So as long as I apply before that date, I'll get my postgraduate work permit and I don't even have to have a job in hand. But you will be looking for a job. Oh, yes, definitely, because uh, you do need to support yourself. Now, you also work at the International Students' Office. What have you heard from some of the other international students? Well, the, ch- uh, the changes were only implemented yesterday, and we only got the notice uh, last evening. But there's already been like a huge ruckus. A lot of students uh, have been contacting our international student advisor, Margaret Wood, about the program. They want to know about these new changes just because... All they've had to go on is the email. So I guess Margaret's going to have a handful over the next yeah. week or so trying to uh, cover uh, like everything that the new changes talk about. Oh, just finally, will these changes increase your odds of immigrating to Canada? Um, yes, they do, because I, I know in terms of doing a permanent residency, one of the things um, immigration looks for is work experience in your particular area of expertise. And as I mentioned, like students coming from specific programs do have a tough time finding jobs immediately after graduation, and especially with the pressure of finding something within 90 days. Now these students actually have the option to take their time to focus on finding something within their field that they could actually build on over the course of three years, which would make for a really solid application in terms of permanent residency. So right. It does improve their chances. Well, Mr. Correa, thank you very much for taking our call. You're welcome. Thanks Bye-bye. Sean Correa is about to graduate with his Master's of Business Administration degree at Dalhousie University. If you have a comment, give us a call or send an email, 1-800-565-5463. Our email address, marnoon at cbc.ca.